Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brandy from Cambridge Tech and welcome back. So in this session of the video, we are going to look at how we can change. You see, we have some numbers over here. So for instance, staff, we have four products. It is also showing us four and others is showing us four. One is a situation where this four is going to be a count of the products in here. So for instance, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items over here. So so instead of just putting out four over here, this is static. We're going to have some kind of a dynamic representation of the count of items we have over here. So instead of four, we need to have seven over here. Then for staff two, we have quite a number over here. It should reflect and the number of orders should also reflect over here. So this is what we are going to look at in this video. So right away, I'm going to go into my views because all the logic is being implemented over here then let me show you this so for instance let's come to staff we need to have this stuff counted and inputted over here so if i come here and this is my staff okay now i already have this workers being grabbed and everything being put over here now i want to count the number of workers that has been grabbed as far as that view is concerned so what i can do is i can create um, a variable i'm going to call workers count so workers underscore count and this is going to be workers dot count so there's a dot count method i'm applying on everything i've grabbed over here which is workers okay and i'm saving it in this variable workers underscore count so what i can do is i can come in here and pass in workers underscore count as my key and my value is going to be workers underscore count and this is already passed in the context dictionary so you cannot have access to workers underscore count so i'm going to copy this and if i'm to go into staff.html we have staff.html over here and if i'm to come okay so i need to go into the top nav okay so the top nav is right as i have over here so for staff i'm just going to put out this and i'm going to paste this over here so this is actually going to render that dynamic data i had over there so if i save this and come back over and come and refresh now instead of just four we see six over here because we now have one two three four five six items over here okay now look at what is going to happen when i click on products i'm going to say this is going to vanish and when i click on others too it's going to vanish okay now the reason why it is vanishing is because of the design we have over here and i don't think um that is good what i want to say is i want to have this six appear even if i click on product and that's because as far as product is concerned we don't have that logic we are implementing over there so this is what i mean as far as product is concerned and where exactly is product? yeah so this is product as far as product is concerned we don't have this logic which is actually grabbing the data for us okay so i'm just going to copy this control c and paste it over here so i'm going to paste this over here and instead of just doing this in a more redundant way i can just do the dot count method over here and i'm just going to get rid of this and i'm going to say workers underscore count just like this so workers underscore count is going to be the objects the user dot object dot all dot count okay and over here i can pass in sorry i can pass in the workers underscore count over here and i'm going to do same for this so when i come back to come and refresh i'm going to see that the six is going to appear so even if i'm here it's going to appear if i'm here it's also going to appear i also need to put it in the other dot html so 
I am simply going to copy this control C and inside our other view our other view is also gonna have this this is kind of redundant but um, I think we just have to go with this so I have workers underscore count and I'm gonna have workers underscore count over here so when I refresh everything looks cool so if I come here it is looking good if I come here it is looking good if I come here it is looking good now what is left is we also need to write same logic for products and others as well and we pass it in the other views so over here we have others over here so we can do the others underscore count and all I'm going to do is I'm going to say the others we have over here dot count all right so let me pass this control c in here control v i think let me copy this once again control c control v and all right so we have others count over here and if i'm to go into my top nav and dynamically render this as others count i'm going to see a different number appear over here so we have eight so let me see one two three four five six seven eight and that's exactly what we have over here now when i click on this once again it's not going to show up because as far as the products dot html is concerned i don't have this logic over there so let me just um work out the rest of them so um i'm just going to copy this so i'm just going to copy this over here i'm just going to do control c and inside my products.html as i have over here i'll just have to paste this over here so this is um order i'm going to do underscore count over here and i'm going to call the dot count method over here then i'll just copy this so i'll do a control c control v over here and i'll change this to order so I'll do others dot count and I also do others dot count over here. All right, then I think I also need to go into index. Um, let me see. Okay, so so that is showing over here. All right, so I need to go into staff dot html or the staff. Um, page and I also need to pass this over here so I'll do others underscore count and I'll call the dot count method over here then I'll copy this and um, paste this over here then I'll do others others underscore count and others underscore count as well so over here when i refresh so our dev server is down there seem to be some issues over here so let's open terminal and see exactly what's going on okay so let's come in here and it says syntax error um, others counts online 41 there seem to be a problem okay so I didn't bring the trailing comma over here okay so I think we are in business now okay so yeah I think the others are now showing then I think the last one has to be the products so let's go to products and 
yeah so this products and we've grabbed everything over here so let me just do product count over here so product underscore count and this is going to be the items dot count as we have over here so i'm going to copy this control c and in here i'm going to paste this over here and come back into the view and render that data over here okay so i also need to come back and put out that logic in the other views as well so i have this in products let me just copy this and do a control c over here and go to staff i have staff over here let me change this name to products product underscore count so that i don't change what i don't have to change in there so i'll do a control c over here come in here control v and a control v as well over here then finally i need to go into the um i think i need to go into the i need to go into the other page and yeah so the other page and let me just copy this the products so let me just come in here and let me copy this because this is very simple let me just copy ctrl c and inside my other view i'll paste this over here and i'll just do products underscore counts All right, so I think this is just about it. When I refresh, the product is going to pick up because we have seven products over here. And I think every bit of information is looking good. Now, if I am to come and delete, for instance, banana, product now changes to six. Good. And if I am to delete pen drive once again, we now have this as five. So. It is dynamically working out and if i should come into the dashboard you can see that things are beginning to change over here because obviously we've deleted some items over here okay so i think we need to come into the dashboard and also render the items we had over here but it doesn't really matter okay so now let's do it let's actually do it so so finally we come into Let me just copy one of these and I think we just modify the rest. So control C and we'll come into our index page over here. So this is going to be our index page. Okay, so you have products and orders over here. So we just have to count them. All right, so what I can do is I can do um, order underscore counts. Is going to be equal to the orders we have over here okay dot count then we can also do product product underscore count and that's also going to be the products we have over here dot count okay so i think we should also do something for the um, i think i have product orders and let me see stuff okay so i need to do stuff underscore count over here so stuff underscore count is going to be 
I think this is going to be the user.objects.all.count. All right, so let me just pass in that data over here. So I have products underscore count over here. And I'm going to have products underscore count. Then I'm going to duplicate this and change the name over here. So let me try and do this. Let me just change. So I'll do a control D and I'll do stuff over here. Then I'll grab this and do a control D and I think we have products stuff and we have orders. Is it orders or order? Okay, so let's see we have orders dot count. Okay. And I think it's supposed to be workers dot count and not stuff. Okay, so let me refresh this. Okay, we have products. It's supposed to be orders dot count and workers dot count. Okay. So let's come back here and we have orders dot count over here and in here. Okay, so let me change this to orders. Orders dot count, and I think what I have in here as staff is supposed to be workers. So I'll do, I'll change this to workers dot count, and instead of staff over here, I'm going to choose, or I'm going to type in workers. All right, so when I save this and come back to come and refresh, all right, we are getting this and everything looks good from this point. So clearly we are seeing how you can write in simple logic, let's say account and things of that sort. And we are gradually building our project. So this brings us to the end of this video. If you find this video very interesting, there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel. Kindly subscribe to Cambrotech. And don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime I release a video, you'll be duly notified. Also, share this video with friends and family who find this content very useful. At Cambrotech, we see learn programming, you can do it. And don't forget to pass in any comments or suggestions in the comment section, and I'll be glad to respond to them accordingly. Thank you very much, and bye bye.